Welcome elders. We're going to get you started in this video on using the I Pray You prayer app. <clears throat> kind of walk you through uh, some of the ways that you can use it and uh, show you some of the functions and capabilities that are unique uh, in your role as an elder. So the first thing to understand about this prayer app is that it is mobile and it is web based. So all that to say, you want to go to www.ipraye.org, and then as an elder or deacon, you're going to log in by either clicking on the prayer partners button, which is up there, and there's also a prayer partners button here. So whichever one you want to click on, uh, it's your choice. And then if this is your first time logging in, um, when the screen comes up, there's going to be a dialog box here. You're going to put your email address into it and your password into it. And if this is your first time logging in, you're going to use the password that was given to you. Uh, maybe it was your pastor who set you up or the prayer coordinator, another elder who added you in. Uh, whatever the case might be, uh, you'll put your email address here, your password here. You can change your password as many times as you want to. Okay, so... Um, the uh, email address, I'm, I'm going to enter one in here uh, for a uh, prayer database for a church in Newark. Um, this is a real prayer database for a church in Newark that um, uh, we're using the app as part of our outreach into the community there. And so you just use your email address and your password. The screen will come up. Then obviously you click on your home button. And just give you a little quick orientation as we get started here. So there's really, it's pretty simple. There's just seven buttons on the home screen. You know, I always tell people it's a real simple app. It's like a flat-headed screwdriver. It's just a real simple tool. Uh, hopefully by God's grace, you do a lot of good things with it. So um, top two buttons are the uh, prayers of the church. So anything you want to know about the prayers of the church, you go to the top two buttons. Uh, next two buttons is your prayer ministry team. So anything you want to know about the people who are doing the praying and the caring, you go to those two buttons. Your bottom three buttons are real important, your prayer event calendar, your church's information, and your information. So to get you set up, get you started, uh, click on the Me button there. And then uh, one of the cool things you can do is uh, you can upload a file of yourself. So I upload a file of a uh, picture of my wife and I on our wedding. And um, so obviously a favorite picture of mine. And so uh, you choose a file that's a favorite picture of yours. You can change as often as you want. Uh, make sure your name's correct. Um, so as I said, I created this account here to access an actual prayer database uh, uh, the person in this fictitious account here is francis peeper some of you know who he is uh email uh phone number address you change your password as many times as you want to and then click submit if you're happy with that i i'm happy with this i'm just gonna go back to me now one of the cool things you do is click on your prayer ministry members button right there and then you go to the uh, elders uh your elders button there button number four and there's your picture and so one of the cool things that this app does is it gives uh your church a real-time virtual pictorial directory and that's just kind of cool you know um if you've ever been involved in putting together a church pictorial directory you know you know how much fun that is so <clears throat> this is just a way to uh, give people a chance to put current pictures in, you know, and they can change them as many times as they want to. Uh, there's no cost to the church to do this, you know, I mean, it's just great on a lot of levels. Um, so just again, just getting you set up here. Um, that's the me button. That's where you uh, put your information in. And then just to talk to you uh, just a little bit about your role as an elder in this prayer app as you're getting set up and started here. Uh, your role as an elder is very important. Obviously, an elder or deacon um, within the church there you're a big blessing to your pastor and, and in the area of prayer as well uh, in in the prayer app as an elder or deacon you can add people to the prayer ministry team uh, any of the the roles that are in here you can add people uh, into those roles so that's just a big help um, you can uh, edit prayer requests you can edit prayer calendar events we're going to look at that in a little bit um, you can edit information on the prayer ministry team members you know obviously you already know this you're a part of the pastoral office so the care and notes that you put in uh, on the prayer request that you're following up with, your care notes are confidential. They go only to the pastor. Um, only other, uh, only the pastor can see it. You can share it with other elders. Um, you help families assigned to your care, and you also have the opportunity to volunteer to serve families. So um, 
your role in this is, is very important. And I just want to thank God uh, for your uh, partnership with your pastor in the ministry of prayer in the church. Uh, next uh, video, we're going to look at uh, how you access the prayers of the church and how you uh, use these features here in these two buttons.